Hi, this is Sam Finlay for Stack, and in this tutorial, I'll show you how to combine the features together and start making your pop-ups really powerful. So here I've got a duplicated stack, and I'll quickly show you a demo, see what it looks like now. So just a simple pop-up with a call to action button. Okay, so if you move into the dashboard by clicking edit, we're going to add a timer and an offer form and then we're going to link it through to an opt-in. So to do that, we go to the stack layout and choose media, offer and timer. And you'll see the layout change to this. Save our changes. Then move over to the timer section to customize it. So for this, I'm just going to set it to timer only. With the evergreen timer, set it three days and save my changes. Then next, move over to the offer form. And here we'll customize this to match the pop-up that you already saw. So we'll change the colors out. So down in color settings, choose heading background, and we'll paste in the color codes, which I've got here. So we'll copy that, paste it in there, and form background. We'll paste this one in like that and save our changes. Then we'll change the button text as so. And I'll just leave these features in there as is, just a, the default text for now for demo purposes. Save our changes. And I'll also remove the subheading and edit this heading to something a bit more relevant. Okay, save that up. And we'll move over to, move over to the media section and I'll just quickly remove that call to action button because we no longer need that. Save it, offer, and I'll add a border. Okay, if we preview now, you'll see that we have a timer, we have the same pop-up as before, and then we also have the new heading and the feature list with a call to action button. Okay, moving back to the dash, if you want this call to action button to link through to the opt-in form, simply click trigger opt-in here. So when this is clicked, the opt-in form will be shown. So we'll move over there and we'll also edit this to match. So quickly get the heading background, get the color code, paste that in, get the form, ba form background, get the color code and paste that in. Save what changes and quickly edit the button text. So there you go. If you want, you can connect your autoresponder here, or alternatively, you can also paste in your custom form code from your autoresponder provider. So we'll leave this as is and have another look at the preview. So at the timer, the image, the feature list, and when the call to action is clicked, it'll take us through to the opt-in form, as you can see. Now, to make this really pop, we'll add a HD video background. So to do that, move over to the dash, and down in this section, click video. Then all you need to do is paste in the URL of your video here. So move over to YouTube, I'll grab this one, which is time lapse of traffic, paste that in here. As you can see, that's been pulled in. So I'll save my changes and publish stack. So now when we view this,
so the forms come down and we've got the HD video background. Click our call to action and our opt-in form will be shown and then after they submit for example I've got it redirecting to our stack sales page. So as you can see it's very powerful you can add in multiple layers and really customize things to perfectly match your campaign. Okay that's been the tutorial for combining stacks features together. Thanks for watching.